thank you very much. Happy to be here. Hello, um, my name is Christian. My company connects bikes and scooters to the internet. And you may ask why. But because bikes, scooters, motorcycles, or collectively light vehicles are the most important vehicle segment of the time we live in. We talk a lot about cars, and even today we talk how to charge them, how to change them. But reality is that cars are history. Because of urbanization uh, and global warming, more and more bikes and scooters are taking over. And if you look at the trend of production, you can see that there's really nothing to do with cars anymore. But it's a big opportunity, but at the same time, it's a very conservative industry, and this industry has some problems. Number one, one-time sales model, like the car industry. You sell the car, you have no clue who's actually your customer and how to keep in touch with them. Number two, you really think of bikes and scooters like bikes and scooters. You don't think of Audi or BMW, do you? So they have no really good brand identification or differentiation. And lastly, especially because we're in Berlin, by the time I finish, probably 100 bikes are gone, and by the time we go to dinner, probably around 1,000 bikes are already nicked. So people don't buy very expensive bikes because they just get stolen. Our company solves all these problems with connectivity technology. So our technology has three pillars. Number one, hardware or software license that is integrated into the vehicle during the manufacturing process. So we sell our technology to the manufacturers of the vehicles. Then this gathers information from the vehicle, sends it to our cloud server for data analytics, predictive maintenance, and over-the-air updates, and at the same time sends the same data to the end-user smartphone. So the end-user can actually interact with the vehicle. But what is the most important part of that all is that it actually also connects the manufacturer and the user, or the customer. So this way you can you know, engage with the customer, you can create user stories, uh, you, make, you can make sure that they come and buy the second bike or scooter from you as well. You can do after sales, you can do digital services. So we turn one-time customers into users. We actually earn our money per every vehicle being built, so we have a license fee every time a manufacturer builds a vehicle. But when we create this connection to the customer, to our manufacturer, we actually also create this connection to ourselves. So by connecting thousands and thousands of vehicles, we are creating access to ourselves, to the end user, which means we can then monetize this uh, by selling digital services. For example, at the moment, this season, we are launching insurance product, which means that you buy an expensive bike, you download an app, you play around with the app, and then the app says, hey, by the way, your bike is not insured. You can do this insurance through the app very conveniently and with the best market price. By, the, by, the, by doing this, we actually earn more per one year insurance than we do when selling our technology to the manufacturers. So we're creating a big um, customer pool to ourselves. And that's the really secret source of what we do. Um, so once more, we don't only work with bikes, we work with all light vehicles. Um, we integrate our hardware or we integrate our firmware technology, and that will stick there. So that's a very sticky business. Once we're in, you cannot get us out from there. Then we build a layer of services on top of that, and thanks to different software um, approaches, we can create different products. So we have an end-user product, we have electric rickshaws running in India, for example, and we are also powering some scooter-sharing projects in Europe. So our goal and long-term strategy is really to become... Um, kind of a disease in this industry. So we want to be in every part of the value chain. We are working together with um, um, powertrain manufacturers, so the companies who actually make uh, motors and batteries for the industry. We're working with vehicle manufacturers. We're selling to end users. We're running fleets. And we're also helping uh, operators of sharing systems to operate their vehicles. And we can do all that because we are already in the vehicle from the moment that the vehicle is being produced. We are in... Uh, on the market with the Europe's largest bicycle group. We are in pilot with the world's biggest uh, bicycle component company, and we have many other customers. This year's uh, revenue target, we have 2 million euros, and we're very confident that we will achieve that. At the moment, we are clearly in the scaling phase, so we're scaling into a la large number of vehicles, and then we are going into monetization of this, as I described before. Previously, by the way, we built electric racing cars. So we really know what it takes to achieve high goals. Thank you. We're doing an A round in 2018, and if you actually want to ride along with the vehicles that are important, then come and talk with me. Thank you.
How big is your A round? Four, four or five million. Four or five million. Sounds good to me. Okay. Thank Keep you. that in mind. This gentleman needs four to five million. <laughs>